Very you welcome to all my lovely dear viewers. This is Anshika and welcome to my channel Learn with Anshika Singh. So today we are going to study chemistry chapter 1 matter and its composition in class 7th. Firstly, if you are new to my channel, do subscribe my channel on the bell icon and comment, like and share the video. Follow me on Instagram also and my Insta ID is Learn with Anshika Singh. This is my profile picture. After watching the video, you can check it. So the contents for the day is what is matter, characteristics of matter, composition of matter, arrangements of molecules in solids, liquids and gases. Now wherever you are sitting, you just look around you. What you can see? You can see a number of things like you can see your dining table, you can see your Almira, your toys, your books and many other things. All these things are made up of matter. Now the question arises, what is matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. So if anything is matter, it should uh, have two properties. First one is that it should have mass and the second one is that it should occupy space. Now some things are there that are not matter. Let's check what are they. Not everything is matter. Heat, light, electricity, sound, vacuum and shadow are not matter. Now some things are there like heat, light, electricity and so on that I told you. So why are they not matter? This is because of the two properties that I told you. The first one was that they do not have mass and the second one is that they do not occupy space. So these are the two main reasons that, uh, that make them that they are not matter. The next one is characteristics of matter. The first characteristic is that matter has mass. So firstly you put understand that what is the meaning of mass and its definition. The amount or quantity of matter contained in an object is known as its mass. The amount or any quantity of matter that is contained or present in any object is known as its mass. More the amount of matter in any object, greater is its mass. Now, jitna uh, zada uh, amount of matter will be present in any object, utna uh, zada greater amount uh, of mass hoga us object ka. Okay, like for example, the body of an element has uh, elephant has greater amount of matter than that of a monkey. Okay. Now, matter occupies space. This characteristic I will tell you with the help of one example. This is the example for matter occupies space. Now, in the first A1, you can see that there is a glass filled completely with water. Now, if you put, some, uh, if you put one stone in that glass, then some water will overflow from that glass, like you can see in this picture. Now, this shows that the stone replaces the water to occupy its space in the glass. Okay? It shows that matter occupies space. Now, when the stone is removed and when you, uh, the collected water in the bowl, as you can see, when you get back the um, water that is in the bowl poured in that glass, then the water uh, will fill the glass up to the brim again, as you can see in this picture. In that example, you will be able to understand that matter occupies space. Okay, so let's uh, understand one definition regarding matter occupies space. The amount of space occupied by matter is called its volume. Whatever amount of space is occupied by matter is called its volume. Composition of matter. Now the next topic is composition of matter. So this topic means that how matter is made. In simple words you can say how matter is made. Matter is made of very tiny particles called atoms. Now 
Matter is made up of very small, small particles that are called atoms. Now, atoms are the building blocks of all matter. The first point regarding atom is they are the building blocks of my all matter. In simple words, you would say that uh, atoms uh, make a matter. Means uh, in the first uh, definition of atoms, I told you that matter is made up of very tiny particles. So this uh, means is जो atoms हैं इसमें यही बता रहे कि atoms बनाते हैं matter को. They are the smallest particles of matter, and these atoms are the smallest particles of matter. They are not visible to us, and you can also not see atoms. Now let's continue with the composition of matter. Atoms combine to form molecules. Now atoms जो होते हैं, they combine together to form one particle that is called molecules. Molecules are made up of atoms, and uh, the molecules which are there, they are made up of atoms. Now the definition of molecule is: a molecule is the smallest particle of matter. That can exist independently and can retain the physical and chemical properties of the matter. Now you can divide this definition in three parts. The first point, uh, and you can divide it in three points also. The first point will be a molecule is the smallest particle of matter. Okay, so you have to understand this that the molecule is the smallest particle of matter. And it can exist independently. Okay. Now the second point and the third point are related to each other somehow. Okay. Uh, now uh, it has the exist. Uh, it has the independent existence. Molecules have the independent existence and can retain the physical and chemical properties of the matter. And इसी के चलते regarding this only. That they have the independent existence regarding this only. वो बनाए रखते हैं the physical and chemical properties of matter को एक साथ बनाए रखते हैं. Okay. Now let's continue with the composition of matter only. The atoms of an element combine to give a molecule which is called a molecule of an element of the element. Now uh, in Hindi I will explain you because I think so that it's better to explain you this these two definitions in Hindi. ओके जो एटम्स ऑफ एन एलिमेंट होते एक एटम मींस एटम एलिमेंट के एटम्स कंबाइन करते हैं एक साथ दे कंबाइन टुगेदर एंड गिव अ मॉलिक्यूल व्हिच इज कॉल्ड द मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ द एलिमेंट ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट डेफिनेशन इज द एटम्स ऑफ डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स कंबाइन टू गिव अ मॉलिक्यूल व्हिच इज कॉल्ड अ मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ द कंपाउंड नाउ जो Uh, atoms होते हैं different elements. Now in the first one it was there that एक ही element के atoms combine करते हैं और एक molecule देते हैं which is called molecule of the element. But in the second definition it is there that different elements के atoms combine करते हैं एक साथ और एक molecule देते हैं which is called the molecule of a compound. I hope you have understood these two definitions. Now arrangement of molecules of states of matter. Now we are going to study about this topic that how the arrangement of molecules is there in the three states of matter. In the molecule uh, now uh, in the in this topic two main points come. That is the first one intermolecular force of attraction and the second one intermolecular space. So let's understand these two topics one by one. The intermolecular force of attraction. A force of uh, it is the force of attraction between the molecules of a substance. Means the force of attraction which is present present between the molecules of a substance is called the intermolecular force of attraction. The second one is intermolecular space. The uh, intermolecular space is the space between the molecules of a substance. Means the space that is present between Uh, the uh, means between the molecules of each substance is called the intermolecular space arrangement in solids the intermolecular force is the strongest in solids 
So the intermolecular space is absent between the molecules of solids and they are very closely packed together. Okay, so the intermolecular force of attraction between uh, the molecules of solids is the strongest. This you have to learn. So uh, because of uh, this reason, as a result, because of this reason, the intermolecular space is p uh, practically absent or you would say it's negligible between the molecules of a solid. And uh, as a result of this, the molecules are very closely packed together in a solid. The intermolecular force is not so strong in liquids as in solids. Now in the arrangement in liquids, the intermolecular force that is present between the molecules of liquids is not so strong as it is present in solids. So the intermolecular space between the molecules and liquids is more than that in solids. Now because of this reason only, the intermolecular space is more than that of in solids. The molecules and liquids are less closely packed and the molecules and liquids uh, are less closely packed. Now there is the second point regarding the arrangement in liquids. Let's read it out and understand it. The molecules and liquids can move from one position to another within the liquid so they have the ability to flow. Now the molecules and liquids can move from one position to another. Molecules which are present in liquids can move from one position to another. So this, uh, this means because of this reason, uh, the molecules have the property of being able to flow or you would say that they have the ability to flow. Arrangement in gases. The intermolecular force of attraction is the weakest in gases. The intermolecular force of attraction which is present between the molecules in gases is the weakest. So the intermolecular space between mo their molecules is the largest in comparison to liquids and solids. Now because of this reason, the intermolecular space which is present between the molecules is the largest in comparison of solids and liquids. Now the chapter is finished children. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe my channel, like the video, comment on it. And now you can go and check my Insta ID and you can follow it. Bye-bye.